You're a worthless, good-for-nothing leech. How long are you going to keep sucking the life out of my family, huh? Have you no shame at all for what you're doing, you dumb cow? Christine, I have no idea what's gotten into you. But can you please stop sending me these messages? I already have enough of your abuse at home. I don't need this kind of crap following me to work where I am right now. Don't you dare talk to me about your work. You think you're so special just because you have a job, but you barely make any money? And you always use it as an excuse to avoid helping me with the housework. You're utterly useless. It's not an excuse. I have a full-time job, and sometimes I help you with the housework and sometimes I don't. Would you rather I quit my job so I can be at home all the time to serve you? Is that supposed to be some kind of threat? I already told you that you can't lord your pathetic little job over me when you make so little. When I was your age, I was working and keeping the house spotless all by myself. And I never whined about it. I just wish you and Mike would finally get a divorce and spare me from having to deal with such a horrible daughter-in-law. I have no clue what he sees in you or what he was thinking when he married you. Not only are you completely useless around the house, but you're also fat and ugly. I doubt anyone could ever love you. Well, I'm sorry for being such a burden, Christine. But I really don't think you have to say all these things to me to make your point. And just because you don't think I'm doing enough doesn't mean I'm not doing a lot of things that you don't even notice. So I would really appreciate it if you could just keep your rude comments to yourself. And please stop treating me like this. I'm not asking you to compliment me or say what a good job I'm doing or anything like that. All I'm asking of you is that you keep your mean words and nasty attitude to yourself and just let us live our lives. Well, too bad for you. I have no intention of stopping anything I'm saying. And why should I, when all I'm doing is telling the truth? I really don't get why you have to keep saying all this stuff, though. I mean, I'm trying to be polite here and asking you to stop. And who do you think you are to tell me anything at all? Do you have any idea how much I hate you? I've been at the end of my rope ever since you and Mike got married, and I've been pushed way past it for a long time now. I won't be silenced just because I'm hurting your feelings. Christine, I really don't understand why you always have to take things so far. I'm not trying to silence you or tell you what you can or can't say to me. I'm just asking for the sake of the peace of the house that you please stop doing this. I mean, I still don't know what I've ever done to you to deserve this. You think you can act all sweet and innocent just because my son and husband like you? But they don't know the real you. They haven't seen the darkness inside you. I know you think you're better than all of us. But you're just laughing at my whole family behind our backs, aren't you? I'm not doing anything like that at all, and I'm glad that your husband and I get along so well. If you're mad at me for being nice to my husband and father-in-law, then I don't know what to say to you. But I can tell you that I really hate the way you're talking to me right now. If anyone is acting crazy and rude or putting people down, it's you. Everyone else in this house is fine. And what are you trying to say with that, huh? You think I'm jealous of you or something? There's no way I would be jealous of a fat, ugly, useless girl like you. I'm not jealous of you at all. I just can't stand you one bit. Your smug face, your brown-nosing attitude. How dare you try to cozy up to my family and leech off our money when you're not even related to us. I can't stand a woman like you. We're not related by blood, but I am married to your son. And you are my mother-in-law. I don't get why you're so upset with me living with you all when I work and contribute to everything. But instead, you just keep insulting me and putting me down all the time. It really hurts me, you know that? But if you really think there's something wrong with me, or that I have some evil plans for your family, then why don't you talk to them about it? Why are you coming to me? 
I think I know why. And I think it's because you know you're the only one who feels this way. You young women are all the same. You think you know better than the woman who came before you. Just because you're young and pretty. Well, let me tell you something, Missy. One day you won't be so young. You're already not very pretty anyway. So, you better learn your place. Okay, well, you keep saying you're not jealous. But the more you say it, the more it sounds like jealousy to me. And I'm sorry, but I'm at work and I don't have time to deal with your petty jealousy. So I'm going to go. You're a terrible, disgusting, awful, useless little brat. Do you know that? I'm never going to let you get away with what you're doing to my family. Do you hear me? That's fine, because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to be a friend and a good family member. I will make sure you're kicked out of this house and that you never come back again. You're going to pay for what you've done, and I won't let you get away with it. Christine, please calm down. You're being ridiculous. I don't see what there is to be so angry about. I don't think I'm doing anything to your family at all. And if you think I am, then you should talk to them about it. But honestly, I have no clue what you're talking about. And all you're doing is being mean and saying scary things to me. So if this is all you have to say, then I'm going to get back to my work. Don't bother coming home today, or ever again for that matter. Hello, Christine. What are you going on about now? I'm sure I'll regret even asking you. As of today, you and Mike are history. I did what any good mother would do and signed your divorce papers for you. Now they're already in the mail, and nothing you can do will stop this. <laughs> what? You filed for divorce for Mike and me without our consent? That's right. And now that you two are no longer married, I have every right to kick you out of this house for good. Finally, I can get rid of this terrible parasite that's been sucking the life out of my family for so long. Are you serious? You really did that? And now you're telling me that your son and I are going to be legally divorced? <laughs> I'm glad you get it. So I don't have to explain it to you any further. But yes... That's exactly what I did. And now that you and my son are over, there's no reason for a blood-sucking vampire like you to stay here anymore. So why don't you just go and leave us alone forever? I haven't been this happy since... I don't remember when. I've been wanting to do this for so long. So you did this without knowing that I was actually paying for everything in this house and for everyone in it, right? I guess if you did know that, and you hated me so much that you didn't care, I could almost respect that. What? What are you talking about? You were paying for everything in the house? Is that some kind of joke? You think I'm going to believe that? I knew from the start that you only cared about yourself. Don't you dare try to tell me that you were doing anything for us. I know that you've always been and always will be a horrible, useless leech. And that's why I broke you and Mike up. Wow, so you really have no idea what you've just done to your family, do you? Is that what you're telling me? Well, okay, since you've gone this far, I guess I'll just do what you say and go away. But don't say I didn't warn you, Christine. Oh, please. You know that. You're not fooling anyone with this act of yours, do you? I know that you were nothing but a burden to all of us. And that's why I got rid of you. I never liked you from the beginning. And now I finally found a way to get rid of you for good. Well, then, thank you for setting me free. I guess I should be grateful. You don't have to fake it for me, Naomi. I know that you're really crushed inside. Don't act like you wanted this to happen. Now that it's too late. I'm not putting on an act. Christine, I'm really happy that this happened. That you did this for me. 
You have no idea how much of a relief this is. I can finally move on with my life. I thought I was stuck in this horrible situation forever. Anyway, I'm heading to the courthouse now. What for? Are you going to try and tell them that those divorce papers are fake? It's too late for that. They've already been processed by now. Your marriage is over, and there's nothing you can do to change that. You think I'm going to the courthouse to cancel the divorce? <laughs> no way! This is my opportunity to get out of this hellhole. I wouldn't sabotage it for myself by doing that. Your opportunity? What are you talking about? I was the one who kicked you out. You should be devastated about this. You should be furious. You have nothing left. No family, no home, no nothing. Where are you going to sleep tonight, huh? Yeah, good point. I guess I'll have to find a new place, won't I? Well, good luck with everything on your end. Me? Good luck? No, you're the one who needs good luck. I have my family with me. But you have nothing. Don't you get that? What's wrong with you? Are you that stupid that you don't realize what I've done to you? Oh, I get it just fine. Thank you. And thank you so much for doing this for me. I really mean it. I just received a letter of eviction in the mail. The letter said that all three of us had to move out of the house as soon as possible. Not only that, but the letter was addressed from you. Is this some kind of twisted joke or something? Sorry, what are you talking about? I didn't really bother to read through all of that. You got some mail or something? Don't you act like you have no clue what this is about? You're the one who sent the letter, and I want to know what the hell you're thinking. Right, yeah. I sent you the letter, and now you have to leave the house. Is there something that you're not getting about that? I think if you read the letter, it's all explained to you in plain English. I didn't think that it would be such a difficult concept for you to understand. It's my house, so I'm kicking all of you out and selling it. It's really that simple. Do you get it now? This has to be some kind of sick joke, right? You can't be serious about that. You don't own this home. It's ours. You can't just say that you own it. Send some letters and expect us to do whatever you say. Well, it might have been your home once, but it's not your house anymore. You remember how I said I was going to the courthouse, right? Well, that's because I needed to fill out some forms and change the name on the deed of the house. Change the name on the deed? What did you do? What are you talking about? I mean that the house might have been under your family name since I got it after Mike and I got married. But after we got divorced, I went ahead and changed my name back to my maiden name. That included changing my name on everything from the house to the car title. It's all mine now, and it always was, but now there's no doubt about it. Hold on a second. Is that why you've been taking so long? and not returning our car to us? Well, again, like I just said, it was never your car. It was always mine. I paid the down payment and I've been the one making the payments ever since. All I did was change everything back to my maiden name. So, no, you and your family can't even try to claim any ownership of it at all. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense at all. How can you just do that to someone's property? Let's get one thing clear. You and your family never paid for anything. Your names were not on any loans or deeds or titles. I was paying for everything for everyone this whole time with my own salary. So now that we're divorced, all of that belongs to me. Wait a second. I just went to my office and looked through my copies of all the important documents that we have. And what you said is true. It really was your name on everything. But 
With our last name? Are you really telling me that this means we have to move out? You can't do that to us? It's not fair at all. I guess this means that you, Mike, and your husband still have no idea what's about to happen to you. You might want to fill them in on the situation because I've been ignoring every call and text the two of them have been sending me for the last week. You'd think that they would have figured out that something was wrong by now. I just told them that you told me that you were going on a last minute vacation out of the country and that you weren't getting back to them because you didn't have any service. But I had no idea that you were going to do something like this to our own family. It's sick. How can you live with yourself? How can you throw us out like this? Well, I'm afraid that you're asking those questions to the wrong person. You really should have done your homework before you just sent off your forged divorce papers for Mike and me. But like you said, it's too late to do anything about it now. So I just did what I could to change my name on my documents. And now the house and car and everything else is all mine, like it always was, really. And I've already found a buyer for the house, so you all need to move out as soon as possible or else you'll be forcibly evicted by the authorities. But this can't be. It has to be a joke. You can't honestly be telling me that you are the one who has been paying for everything for all of us this whole time. Was this your plan all along? To hold the house hostage so that uh, if I ever kicked you out, then you could get your revenge on us like this? Of course not. That was never my intention with any of this at all. I wanted to pay because I could afford it. And you all were my family. But did you really never once question who it was that was putting down payments on some of the biggest things around here? I mean, do you know anything about who makes how much money in this family? Do you not know anything about how the house has been run at all? I don't understand. This can't be happening to me right now. I refuse to believe a word that you're saying to me. Believe it or not, I have been paying for everything for the past year that we've all been living together. But then, what about my husband? What about Mike? What have they been doing this whole time? Well, for your husband, I was actually also paying down his debt for him. His debt? What does that mean? My husband doesn't have any debt. You have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're telling me that neither your son nor your husband told you that they were unemployed? You really ought to be showing me a bit more gratitude for all that I've been doing for you, you know? Hold on a second. The two of them are unemployed? As in, neither of them has a job at all? That can't be right. Well, it is. Once again, I don't really know what to tell you except that you should really be paying more attention to important details like this. You're lying to me. I don't believe you. It can't be true at all. You're just trying to trick me. I really am not trying to trick you at all. I've been very honest about what's been going on around here for the past year. But if you haven't been paying any attention whatsoever, I understand how this all might be a shock to you. But you can really only blame your own ignorance. But then everything, the home loan, the car payments, the utilities, it's all been you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I assume that you probably thought it was your husband or son covering those things. But it was me the whole time. Now that you've gone and split Mike and me up, though, I don't really see any need to keep doing that for you all. But why didn't anyone ever say anything about this to me. What's wrong with everyone? I deserve to know this. It's probably because they didn't want to deal with you, since they knew how you would react if you knew the truth. And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? How did they think I would react if I found out that neither of them had a job? Well, you'd probably just be nagging them all the time about job hunting and working and not having enough money. I can't really say that I blame them for keeping it a secret from you. I mean, you were just one of the most nosy and rude people I've ever met, and I would probably do the same if I was in their shoes. But honestly, I am just glad that you're not going to be my problem anymore. 
It's so nice to be freed of you. What are you trying to say? How are you free of me? I'm still your mother-in-law. You can't do this to me. Actually, you're not my mother-in-law. Mike and I are divorced, remember? So, given all that, I really don't owe you anything. But why didn't you fight the divorce? Could it be that you wanted to leave Mike this whole time? What do you think? I was living in a house full of unemployed and unmotivated people who never showed me any gratitude for all that I was doing for them. On top of that, he never once stood up for me against you, while he eagerly asked me to pay for every little thing of his. Do you really think that's a marriage worth staying in? But then, you're just going to leave us all like that? Just like that? Yeah. I mean, that sounds really wonderful, actually. I mean, I don't want anything to do with you or your family ever again. I just don't even know what to say. How could this happen to us? I can tell you how. You are a horrible bully who took it upon yourself to get your son and me divorced, and now I'm free of all of you. So I have to say that I really am grateful for all that you did for me. Consider us even now. Naomi, you can't be serious about this. Please, I am so, so sorry. I'm sorry for bullying you. I'm sorry for the divorce. I'm sorry for everything. Can't we just make up and be friends again? Think of how hard you're going to make things for us. Yeah, that's a no. I don't want anything to do with any of you ever again. You do understand what that means, don't you? But why not? Why can't we just go back to the way things were? That's exactly the problem. The way things were was awful. And I don't want that for me ever again. I couldn't bring myself to ask for a divorce before now. But now that it's already done, I'll happily accept it. Anyways, good luck figuring out between the three of you who is going to have to get off their butts and find a job. After that, Christine kept sending me endless messages, begging me to forgive her and take her and her family back. It was honestly getting very pathetic, and I couldn't stand it anymore, so I finally blocked her number. They had only a few days to pack their bags, and when Sunday came, they had left and the house was completely empty. I heard from neighbors that all that week there were loud arguments coming from the house. Christine had to go back to work since she was the one who ruined the arrangement that they had been living off of for so long, but even her salary wasn't enough to support all of them, and soon they all had to find some kind of work or another. I felt a mix of relief and anger as I watched them leave. I couldn't believe that they had taken advantage of me for so long, and that Christine had tried to get me divorced from Mike. I was glad that I was free of them, but I also wondered how they would survive without me. I hoped that they would learn their lesson and become more responsible, but I also knew that I didn't want anything to do with them ever again. <laughs>